I really just can't stop myself. But we've got another 3 billion picks to work with, so that should be a nice little boost. Plus, whatever's in his very glowy chest. All very good stuff, especially the TNT. Pretty excited for that. Let's upgrade some crap. We don't quite have what we need for better pickaxes, but definitely some of the gear. So we're going to get extra PPs just by doing this. And just like that, we're up to 33,000 picks per second. The TNT we got instantly breaks a block. We don't need TNT if we have stronger pickaxes, so that's what we're going to work towards. Let's open a chest. Once again, all good stuff. Lunar Meteorite has to have some kind of value, otherwise it wouldn't be called Lunar Meteorite plus the Panda. And since I'm in a hurry to get a new pickaxe, we're going straight to the volcano so I can auto-click it to death. And then it shouldn't take long at all to hit the Twilight Forest, and then we get more upgrades, more pickaxes, more everything. Uh, at least until I realized that I forgot to level myself up. My now 5 billion picks is worth 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 levels. And I think I've upgraded my player basically as much as I want to because I can reduce the cost for other stuff or add one ability slot. I hardly use my abilities as it is, so let's make those chests better. Increase the chance to find artifacts? Yes, please. And then increase chance to encounter chest mobs? Absolutely. And increase chance to find treasure chest in free chest? I like the way chest treasures. 9% treasure drop. I'll take it. And then back to mining. I think we basically have to make it to the next area while murdering bats before we're going to be able to get any new pickaxes, except for maybe the Cinnabon bar, which shouldn't take too long at all. I can't believe we're all the way down to 40 million picks again. I forgot that these were a thing. Come on, something good. That's maybe not the best. You know what, we're gonna spin that again. Since these are so rare, we might as well. And right back to where we started. 50 for a retry? I guess we'll just take whatever that is and continue on. Do you think his arm ever gets tired? I mean, I know mine would, but I'm too lazy to even click. And there's the Cinnabar we need. So now we get a blood red pickaxe. And I'm excited because I think that's probably going to look pretty good. That's a fine looking pickaxe. And it's probably a little bit faster again because it has more power. Especially when it does its little explodey trick. And with our bonus, we're up to 167,000 pickaxes per second. So that's a long ways from where we started. And we should also take this opportunity to fight all these idiots because we'll get a decent reward for that. But you guys don't need to watch this because, well, you're here for the blocks, not the bosses. Although, this is a new one. How about I just auto-click my way on through? If you ever want to really make a mess of your computer, turn your auto-clicker onto max and then click off onto one of the other monitors. Some very exciting things happen. But I'm sure all that stuff will be fine. Let's continue on making a mess. Meatloaf is also new, but it's also just Meatloaf, so it's probably not going to be that hard to defeat. He even cries when I hit him. Then again, so do most things. Okay, cool boss. Long story short, we got a chest for murdering Meatloaf. Duskstone is maybe a new one, so that's probably the rare find. The sapphires are nice, the block roll, the TNT. That might be a good ability. Transforms the next set of blocks into random blocks. Uh, you know what? We're gonna upgrade this as much as we can because that actually sounds kind of nice and the gas thing doesn't really do anything anyway. So, back to what we were doing. Mining blocks. Endlessly. That didn't dig long at all. Let's go to the Twilight Forest because I need a mushroom pickaxe. This place does look pretty good though. We get all sorts of mushrooms, which for some reason is a very rare and powerful material. And the best pickaxe we can get has a power of 37 and durium. And I've really got to start remembering to look back at all the gear I can upgrade because when I hit a new map, that means I probably have lots of materials from the old map. And that means I can upgrade things like Volcanic Plant for 950 DPS. And a Boss Rush Bronze Metal, which actually gives me plus 1% PPS. So that's actually a pretty considerable upgrade by itself. Then a Lava Lamp for 800. And there's a whole bunch of other PPs. But even things like my basic helmet are getting me an extra 345 PPs. So we're up to 38,500. So we've already made considerable progress today, and it hasn't even been that long. Do you think it would be wise to use a mushroom chest plate or leggings? It doesn't seem like it would offer very much protection. But then again, I've never really been stabbed by anything, nor have I stabbed a mushroom. And there's easily enough for the mushroom leggings, the amber leggings, and then the fungal helmet. Not enough for the mushroom helmet yet, but we're just about at 40,000 PPs. Which is exactly where the mushroom helmet is going to take us. And it's still bothering me that I don't have the lead. Luckily, someone in the comments was kind enough to point out where it is. Or they were lying to me. Either way, we're gonna find out. And I hit the block randomizer for the first time, so we're gonna get a random block. Hopefully it's something rare. I think we got ice, which isn't that great, but we'll take it. I think I do like the randomizer, because that could get us some pretty good stuff. And with this little bonus we have going on, we're making 200,000 picks per second. Even more once I upgrade my Jade X. I've been here for a few minutes now and haven't found any of the pieces I need for the lead, so maybe I was misled. So for now, let's go find some topaz for the shovel and then prismarine. The topaz shouldn't take very long at all because I'm mining pretty quick. We're already up to 110. This really didn't take more than... 
probably 60 seconds. Then we get the Jade Shovel, now we need Prismarine for all these things, so that's kind of handy. And now we need to spend some time underwater, because we're gonna need quite a few Prismarine. But again, that shouldn't take long, because this pickaxe is pretty good. Was this enough? Not even close, but we can get the Pearl Axe and the Lunar Axe. But at least our PP is going up very quickly. We're at 42,000 already. And it'd be really cool to get that over 100,000, but we'll see if that could be done. There are a lot of materials that can boost things by even 2,000 picks per second and 10% picks per second, but they're going to be uh, hard to get a hold of. So for now, let's stick to what we know and mine the green tears. Hopefully those come straight from green children. The alien tears are going to take a little bit of work to get, but that's okay because they're worth lots of PPs because after I get those, I can upgrade all the way through. And we're going to try the block randomizer again. I did to see that rare moon thing, but it flicked through, so we got something less useful. I also really hope that I have enough other materials to be able to continue on like I did with the Scarlet Axe. Nope, we're gonna need to mine some granite after this. While I was waiting, I decided to click on things and I can open a boss rush chest. Uh, how long is that gonna? Whatever, I don't wanna wait. This all comes with a bunch of boss materials that can be used for boss level upgrades, but I need a lot of these. I did get more drills, so I might be able to upgrade my drill. And there's enough for our alien shovel. Now we need to move on to the granite, which of course comes from Mars. But at least there's also some opals and other things here that I'm pretty sure I can use for upgrades on other things, so I'm okay with this. And I already have enough for a granite hoe. Carbon hoe, opal hoe, and not the alien crystal hoe, but we're a lot closer. At least granite is remarkably easy to mine. We're getting like 20 per second, so this won't take long at all. Granite hoe would also be a remarkable nickname for someone. And there's our granite shovel, our carbon shovel, our opal shovel, and now we're onto alien crystals. 46,600 peepees. Alien crystals are also found here on Mars, so we're just gonna keep on mining till we have enough. And it might not take that long because alien crystal hoe, magma hoe, tar hoe, alien crystal shovel, It'll be a minute. And there's our Azuralian crystals, our magma, our tar. Now we're onto Scarlet again. Back to the volcano we just left. This one will take a minute just because of the materials, but I've got time if you do. Another one of these idiots. Hopefully this one gives us something a little better than- Oh, I want the big chest. I can feel it. I'm feeling lucky enough to get that. But we're gonna spend one more time. It's one of my last 10 uh, pink fairy dusts. And it actually worked. Are these good? It's gotta be good. It feels big and rare. We get 200 volcanic quartz, 131 jade. It's actually pumping out quite a large quantity of anything it's giving me. Most of this I already have, but I'm not gonna complain with more. Cursed earth, rubies, emeralds, a pig, a box of TNT, magic paintbrush. I feel like some of these might be good if they're glowing. 10 corrupt pixies, elder sign plus 10. Yeah, this has gotta be some good one. 31 drills, 10 enchantments, TNT, and it's still going. That's a lot of stuff. While scrolling down, seeing what that would get us, I realized we can get an opal amulet for an extra 1,050 picks per second, plus a lava skull for an extra 1,000. So now we're up to 75,000 picks per second, but I can also get the amphora and the lava amulet. So we're up to a modest 80,000 picks per second. This is a rare ability, decreases the cooldown of the last used ability. I'm not really interested in that. I can upgrade my drill though. It's super boring, but also super functional. Anyways, what was I doing? Probably mining blocks. The block randomizer did just find me some emeralds, so that's not a bad find. And 400,000 picks per second, so that's pretty satisfactory. So I've got enough of that stuff. I got enough for the volcanic hoe, the fungal hoe, the mushroom Ho. Now we're waiting for the Amber Ho. So one more to go. Just gotta get the shovel up to where the rest of them are. Now that we've mined almost 900 million picks again, we're gonna start upgrading and we still need more fungal stuff. After wiggling our way through one more boss fight, which means to get rewarded with whatever this stuff is. And I should have restarted my menu earlier because we can get the Zero Ring and the Phoenix Egg, which puts me up to 90,000 PPs. And back to the Twilight Forest to mine mushrooms. Plus, all I need to do is mine... 800 topaz grapes and i'll be able to go to the end and that shouldn't take too long but we just unlocked the end and that's as ominous as it sounds before going there for once i'm going to upgrade some things not spending those because i need those but look at all the other stuff we can suddenly have like the moon banner the mushroom sandwich and the dream catcher also more mushroom things and that for 1350 and this cursed rod for an extra 700 so there we're almost at 100,000 already 100,000 picks per second anyways let's see what the end is all about plus we need a new pickaxe so we're probably still looking for the Endurium pickaxe. And that might not take a super long time because look at all the materials we're getting. Plus we're at 500,000 PPs right now thanks to our bonus. Even this pickaxe is binding through this stuff pretty quickly. We're getting tons of blocks. Kind of tempted to get the Amethyst pickaxe, but we're going to need that for other materials. I'm pretty sure of that. And there it is. What could be the most powerful pickaxe in the entire game? 
is now in our hands and we're going to exploit every single thing we can using it. It's beautiful. It's tumbleweed. It's a tumbleweed pickaxe. But also there's now a whole bunch of pickaxes that are equal power to this, like the doggo pickaxe, but we're going to need to kill a lot of bosses for those. But now we're just going to go back to mining at a modest 500,000 picks per second. And after tearing through all of this, we should be able to afford a few more upgrades to push our PPs even higher. So for upgrades, we're going to pick kind of carefully if we have to. Oh, well, maybe not. Kara's Banzai, a uh, dragon figurine, then these guys. Whoops, can't afford that. What we can afford are purpur leggings, amethyst leggings, and durium leggings. Omega boots, purpur uh, amethyst boots, and durium boots. So now we're up to 102,000 picks per second. Plus, as soon as we mind us a little more omega, we can buy all of those, 105,000 picks per second. And there are some very expensive upgrades we get from mining materials here. So we're going to do that for like the next four hours. A few short minutes later and look what we can do. Per purple, dragon scale, dragon claws, and popped chorus fruit, which puts us up to 109,000 PPs. There are some really cool other things, but they're going to take a while to get to. So for now, since we're clearly going to need a lot of amber, let's go find some of that crap. Well, maybe also unlocking the Frank Pie axe because that just looks like a lot of fun. And it's really about the same power as my current pickaxe, so there you go. So let's go back to the Twilight Forest for a while and see how my freaking my pickaxe works. So far, so good. With our bonus now, we're mining 544,000 blocks a second, and we're at almost 3 billion picks. And for fun, let's try a block randomizer to hopefully get something super rare. Pearls actually aren't too bad. They're pretty rare for where they're from. And I'm almost scared to look at what's after Amber. So if we buy a few Omega, Amber, Omega, Purple, -pur, amethyst and durium do you see it i know this is a trick we've played this game before if i buy the amber shovel we don't have enough for anything else it always makes me feel like i've accomplished something by unlocking all these but it's really not so is this a trick oh we might be making progress we can do it so now we can buy all of these guys hopefully then all of these guys hopefully amethysts are pretty rare we might not get away with this but we're getting close 121,000 pps us a squirrel. So now it's as simple as going back to the end to mine amethyst and maybe more endurium if we need it. Plus along the way we mined enough green mushrooms to get green mushroom mirror for 2,000 pps all by itself. That might be the single biggest upgrade we've ever got. And my pick seems to be doing something where I'm summoning something to do the work for me. But there's the amethyst we need. And then I think we've got enough for all the endurium. So I think that actually rounds out all of my tools. The tools are all done. I was wondering if we did 100,000 PPs today. We're at 130 already. So I guess now we will get the alien egg. You know what? Since we're here, we're going to get the Endurium figurine for only 1,000 bricks of Endurium. Didn't realize we had a new slot either for these things I got a while back with that super chest. After looking at these, I think I like this the best because of everything it can do. Uh, in particular, hopefully luck. So we're going to equip that and hopefully it makes a big difference. So we'll increase the chance to find abilities and free chest. Maybe we should try the Molten Pickaxe. It looks like fun. Can confirm, it is a lot of fun. I'm a little confused though. I thought I made it about to the end of the pickaxes, but now that I go here, there's still this many to go through so we've got a lot more games somewhere so for now i'm going to start smelting some rare ingredients uh by using some less rare ingredients and keep mining stuff until i figure out how to get new picks this one's kind of got a cool bonus where it summons spikes to do the mining for me i've also learned how we're going to get those new pickaxes one of the things we need is the endstone pickaxe which looks something like that and its superpower looks something like that we're up to 640,000 picks per second and then all we need to do is collect 4.5 billion picks so I kind of wish I didn't level up a few minutes ago because that ate up all of the picks I would have needed to prestige. But in total, we have mined over 10 billion so far, coming up on 11 billion. Look at that, we're up to 34%. We were at 33. Well, naturally, I'm going to do things the lazy way and let this run for like four weeks until we have the picks we need. But we mined over 10 billion picks and unlocked the strongest ones I can get so far. So we did good. 